Hello and welcome everyone to Corliss Tiebreaker. In today's video, I predict uh, who will be the starting quarterback for the 2021 season for each team in the NFL. Now, with free agency beginning last month and pretty much kind of coming to nearly a close, at least especially for the quarterback market, um, and with the NFL draft coming up next week, um, it's kind of starting to take shape, like who's going to be the starting quarterback um, for each of the teams, um, even the ones that are kind of looking for um, a new quarterback going into this season. Now, obviously, there are some teams where there's absolutely no shadow of a doubt who their starting quarterback will be for week one this season. Um, so I have this spreadsheet pulled up in front of me. <clears throat> And there's two different color codes. Um, so, like, for each player, uh, for each quarterback, they're highlighted in either green or orange on my spreadsheet here. Orange means I don't think it's a certainty that they will be the starting quarterback week one of the NFL season for their respective franchise. However, the ones that are highlighted in green are what I feel like is in my opinion, a certainty to take the field as the starting quarterback for that particular franchise week one. So let's start with the uh, the AFC West um, and run down each of the teams and who I think each quarterback will be. Kansas City Chiefs, come on. It's Patrick bleeping Mahomes, all right? No shout of a doubt about that. Uh, Los Angeles Chargers, Justin Herbert had a pretty solid rookie year, and I think he's definitely got a lot of talent, and um, he definitely could be um, a force to be reckoned with um, in the future. Las Vegas Raiders, Derek Carr, no doubt about that, because John Gruden basically has a man crush on Derek Carr. We'll just put it that way. Denver Broncos. I think Drew Locke will still be the starter going into week one. And you can go ahead and lock it in. Actually, the pun wasn't really intended, but we'll just put it in here anyway. Uh, so now for the NFC West, San Francisco 49ers. Unless something really weird or drastic happens, Jimmy G. No doubt for me. Um, it, it would be one of those one really unexpected circumstances for Jimmy G to not be the starter in San Francisco. Los Angeles Rams, Matt Stafford, duh. They just acquired him in the offseason. So, moving on. Arizona Cardinals. They got their guy. It's Kyler Murray. Um, Seattle, again, unless something really crazy happens between now and the beginning of the season, it's Russell Wilson. No need to explain any further there. Um, the New England Patriots. or Sorry, we're transitioning to the AFC East. New England Patriots. Cam Newton, I guess. I guess we'll lock it in. The Miami Dolphins. Yeah, here's one that seems right now uncertain. But I think starting with the NFL draft next week. Um, could really start to take shape. Miami Dolphins starting quarterback week one of the 2021 season, Deshaun Watson. The only reason I don't have it locked in right now is because the trade hasn't happened yet. But I do think it's going to happen. Uh, Buffalo Bills, duh, Josh Allen. New York Jets. This is where it gets interesting. Some people would probably say, Sam Darnold's going to be the starter week one this year. I, however, take a different path on this one. And the only reason is that it's not locked in yet is because I don't know for certain that it's going to happen. But I predict it's going to happen. The Jets trade Sam Darnold to a different team so that he can still be the starter somewhere else. And because they're drafting number two overall... I predicted a couple weeks ago they were going to draft Zach Wilson, quarterback out of BYU. If they draft him, he's the week one starter in my opinion. So, 
Um, NFC East. Dallas Cowboys. They finally got him long-term. Dak Prescott. Philadelphia Eagles. Tentatively, I have Jalen Hurts. Because that's who ownership, I guess, wants to be the starter. But I don't know. I could see them bringing in another quarterback, like maybe a Ryan Fitzpatrick. Um, to just kind of give Jalen either some healthy competition or a reliable backup in the event that he um, can't get it done. But I I doubt that they're going to bring in a veteran quarterback. Speaking of Ryan Fitzpatrick, however, I think the Washington football team brings him in on a one-year deal, probably around you know, 4 or $5 million with some incentives thrown in there to make it closer to maybe 8 or $9 million. Um, the only reason I don't have it locked in right now is because he may be a free agent, but he hasn't signed with the team yet. So, uh, New York Giants, I got Daniel Jones. No reason to doubt that at all. AFC North, Baltimore Ravens, duh, Lamar Jackson. Cleveland Browns, duh, Baker Mayfield. Cincinnati, duh, Joe Burrow, if he's healthy, which I assume he will be. Pittsburgh Steelers, duh, Ben Roethlisberger. NFC North, Green Bay Packers, duh, Aaron Rodgers. Minnesota Vikings, pretty much duh, Kirk Cousins. Detroit Lions, duh, Jared Goff, because they just got him in the Matt Stafford trade. Chicago, I'm not quite so sure about. But something I could see happening is that they make a trade with the Carolina Panthers and acquire Teddy Bridgewater to be their starter. So I predict Teddy Bridgewater will be the week one starter for the Bears. Can't lock it in just yet because that trade has not happened just yet. But I think it will. AFC South. Indianapolis Colts. Carson Wentz. Duh. Houston. In the trade that I predict will happen where Deshaun Watson goes to the Dolphins. So if my uh, if Miami acquires Deshaun Watson, that would pretty much mean they have to trade Tua to Houston. So in that hypothetical trade that I'm pretty sure is going to happen at some point, Tua Tungavailoa takes the field as the starter for the Houston Texans week one. I would pretty much say lock it in, but I can't just yet. I would love to, but I can't. Tennessee Titans, Ryan Tannehill. No reason to go against that. Jacksonville Jaguars. Now, while it hasn't officially happened yet, it's pretty much a done deal that Trevor Lawrence out of Clemson will be drafted number one overall, and he will be the week one starter. Because Garner Minshew, I mean, he's... I like him. He's a good quarterback. But Trevor Lawrence's ceiling is way higher than Minshew. So, I'm going to go ahead and lock this in. Trevor Lawrence, Jacksonville Jaguars, week one starter. NFC South, defending Super Bowl champion, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Who do you think is going to be their week one starter? Duh, Tom frickin' Brady. Atlanta Falcons, week one starter, Matt Ryan. Now, Assuming the Falcons end up drafting somebody like um, a Justin Fields or a Trey Lance, who I think both of them would be more of a developmental prospect that would need some time on the bench um, to develop as an NFL quarterback. I could see Matt Ryan being the starter the whole season, but if the season starts going sideways, kind of like it did this past season, um, I could very well see who the Saints or sorry, Fal Falcons draft as being their starter later in the year, but we'll see. New Orleans Saints. Now that Drew Brees is officially retired, Jameis Winston gets a new deal with the Saints, and he takes the field as the starter. Now, I think they'll still have Taysom Hill rotating in um, as an offensive playmaker slash weapon type role. I mean, there's no r real reason to change that. Carolina Panthers. Actually, I could see this being a three-team trade. 
where the Jets send Sam Darnold to the Carolina Panthers to be their week one starter. And then Carolina sends Teddy Bridgewater to Chicago as part of that trade. And then basically the Panthers would just send the Jets a draft pick and I assume the Bears would send a draft pick to Carolina or something like that, some sort of draft pick related compensation. So there you have it. Um, when we get to week one of the NFL season, I'll pull the spreadsheet up and see just how accurate I was. I'm hoping for at least, mm, probably about a 75% grade on accuracy for all of these, which would be, oh gosh, uh, 32. So 24 out of the 32 teams correctly being predicted as starting quarterbacks or with the starting quarterbacks. And I think I'm pretty good to have a 75% grade, maybe even a little bit higher. So maybe a solid C, maybe sneak up there into the lower B range. So um, that's all for today's video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day and God bless.